It's December 30th, 2018. We're at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. The playoff-bound Kansas City Chiefs lead a bad Oakland Raiders team 21-3 in a sleepy regular season finale. But this year, quarterback Patrick Mahomes has made everything about Kansas City appointment viewing, even when they're holding an 18-point lead against a 4-11 team. Mahomes turned KC into the center of the football universe in astonishingly little time. To appreciate what we've seen and what we're about to, we need to rewind. We've reached a point in the 2018 season where anytime Patrick Mahomes drops back to pass, as he's doing right now, he's on the verge of making history. And that would have felt absurd for both this quarterback and this franchise just a few years ago. As a three-sport athlete growing up in Texas, Mahomes was considered a good but not great football prospect. He was rated as a three-star dual-threat quarterback by college recruiting services, which was fine, but that's about it. He certainly wasn't showing up on any top 10 lists as a prospect. Mahomes' dad, Pat, was a former major league pitcher, and Patrick could have easily followed in his footsteps. He was a highly rated MLB prospect, but drafted way late in the 37th round by the Detroit Tigers because he'd already committed to play college football. Mahomes signed with Texas Tech, one of only two Power 5 programs to even offer him a scholarship. At Tech, Mahomes immediately thrived in Cliff Kingsbury's air raid offense, setting a Big 12 record for freshman passing yards in a single game with 598 in a loss, which would become a theme. Mahomes was the starter in his sophomore year and continued to post huge numbers, but the Red Raiders finished a forgettable 7-6. By the end of his junior year, Mahomes led the nation in a slew of stats, but Tech lost three of its final four games and failed to make a bowl. Mahomes' talent was obvious, but so too was the fact that Texas Tech couldn't build a stage big enough to showcase it. Mahomes left Lubbock for the 2017 NFL Draft labeled as impatient, inconsistent, and too eager to go big game hunting. Even in his superlatives, he was damned with faint praise as only draft media can. But that narrative died down as Mahomes' workout and meetings accelerated his stock to a projected first three and then a first round status. He also tied a combine record for the fastest pass ever thrown, clocking in at 60 miles an hour. Still, he was considered a lesser prospect than Clemson's Deshaun Watson, and scouts were convinced he was no Mitch Trubisky. But Mahomes had fans in the right places, specifically Chiefs general manager Brett Veach. When Veach was still a scout for Kansas City, he fell in love with Mahomes as a freshman at Texas Tech, raving to Chiefs coaches and executives about, quote, the best he'd ever seen. Veach stayed persistent over three years, and GM John Dorsey orchestrated a trade with Buffalo for the Chiefs to move up from 27th to 10th in the first round, specifically to grab Mahomes, the second quarterback taken overall behind Trubisky. Simply by being drafted, Mahomes made Chiefs history as the first first-round quarterback for the organization since 1983, but his draft grades were mixed. Critics say he had inconsistent accuracy due to poor mechanics, a tendency to bail from clean pockets, and a lack of field vision, and that, quote, he's going to leave as many plays on the field as he creates. And as a quarterback, Mahomes was considered an unnecessary addition for a title contender looking for a championship edge, because the Chiefs already had a pretty good QB leading them to the playoffs, thanks in large part to a really good head coach. As Mahomes drops back to pass here, you can safely assume no one in Arrowhead is thinking about their old quarterback right now. That's because of the transition orchestrated by Andy Reid. The early years of the Reid era in Kansas City benefited both the veteran head coach and the franchise looking for its first world championship since 1969. Under Reid, KC posted five consecutive winning seasons and four playoff appearances, thanks in large part to journeyman quarterback Alex Smith. When Reed and Dorsey were hired in 2013, the Chiefs flushed a roster that went 2-14 the previous season and finished in last place in the AFC West for the previous five seasons. To complement veteran pieces like Eric Berry and Derek Johnson, Reed and Dorsey drafted a slate of future Pro Bowlers. Tied in Travis Kelsey and tackle Eric Fisher in 2013, linebacker D. Ford in 2014, and receiver Tyreek Hill in 2016. But most importantly, Reed and Dorsey built the first era of this Chiefs renaissance by trading for Smith in 2013. The former 49ers quarterback had lost his starting job to Colin Kaepernick in San Francisco, but saw a career resurgence with Reed, and the Chiefs won 43 games in four seasons. For a franchise that had always rented but never bought at the game's most important position, Smith was a gem of a find from the NFL's scratch and dent pile of QBs. But 
Kansas City wouldn't feel the need to gamble a trade up in the first round on that raw talent from a mediocre college program without a reason. And that reason started to show up in January. As a chief starter, Smith was efficient, but Kansas City had failed to advance past the divisional round. And for all those games that the veteran won for the Chiefs, he likely lost his job and just won. In the 2016-17 playoffs, Kansas City had the number two seed in the AFC, but crapped out on offense against Pittsburgh despite holding the Steelers to just 18 points. If you're looking for a microcosm of the Chiefs' decision to chase Mahomes, it's this wide-open potential pass from Smith to Hill. Instead of a surefire touchdown and likely a playoff win, Smith made the wrong read and scrambled. Everything you do in the playoffs either burdens or bolsters your reputation, and Smith was trending in the wrong direction. Still, Smith was a veteran with a winning record, and KC didn't plan on just dumping their rookie into the line of fire. Entering the 2017 season, Smith was still the starting quarterback, and Mahomes held the clipboard. The result was Smith's best season of his entire career. And, once the Chiefs locked up the fourth seed in the AFC playoffs, Mahomes started a seemingly meaningless game against Denver, throwing for 284 yards and one interception in a three-point win. But while Smith and the other assistant coaches spent that week preparing for the playoffs, Reed used the Week 17 game to test Mahomes' preparedness and off-field study habits, and left raving about his young QB's demeanor. Then the Alex Smith Chiefs repeated history, losing in the wild card by a single point after blowing a 21-3 lead over Tennessee. Smith actually posted a decent stat line in the loss, but Reed and Veach pulled the trigger, trading away their starter in the offseason to Washington. The Chiefs dealt a reliable veteran at the highest value of his career, but Smith was also a 33-year-old QB with only one playoff win in KC. Even with an incredibly limited sample size of live game action, Mahomes was no longer just the future of the franchise. He was the present, and his learning curve would have to accelerate to match the immediate title expectations of a franchise in win-now mode. Unlike most young NFL quarterbacks, Mahomes wasn't steadily developed and built around with future acquisitions as the franchise progressed. He was meant to be the finishing centerpiece to a complete title contender. The Chiefs already had a Tyreek Hill and a Kareem Hunt and a Travis Kelsey, and a defense usually capable of playing deeper into January provided they had a lead to work with. Predictions for the 2018 Chiefs centered solely on guessing at Mahomes' performance, and the takes varied from turnkey to potential superstar to bust. For his part, Mahomes acknowledged those expectations of immediate success, telling the local media the only goal for 2018 was to reach the Super Bowl. So, at this point, against a bad Raiders team, any pass Mahomes throws can go for a touchdown, and the next time that happens, it's history. He's already set one record tonight on a 67-yard touchdown pass to Hill. That scoring drive broke the Chiefs team record for most completions in a season, in addition to being passing touchdown 49 for Mahomes. Mahomes would be the third QB in NFL history to throw 50 touchdown passes in a single season, behind Tom Brady, who threw 50 in 2007 in his eighth year, and Peyton Manning, who threw 55 in 2013, which was his 15th season in the league. Look, if you're on the cusp of 50 touchdown passes in your first year as a starter, and only your second as a professional, there's been no long path to success. There's no learning curve or hard knocks in this story. It might make for a better one if there was, but the truth is that Patrick Mahomes, starting quarterback, arrived to the NFL like a shotgun blast. Behind the scenes in KC, the Alex Smith era had been a little too beneficial for the Chiefs as they lost offensive coordinators Doug Peterson and Matt Nagy to head coaching jobs over the course of three seasons. Mahomes' new play caller would be Eric Bieniemy, a longtime running backs coach and former offensive coordinator at the University of Colorado in 2011 and 12, where the Buffaloes finished 109th and 120th in the nation in scoring. Bieniemy might not have created any excitement publicly, but behind the scenes, he and Reed would overhaul the Chiefs' offense to not only account for Mahomes' mobility, but bake their new QB skill set of speed and deep shot passing ability on the run right into the Kansas City playbook. The results were instantaneous. The first of Mahomes' 49 touchdown passes to this point came in Week 1 versus the Chargers, a 58-yarder to Hill in the first quarter, and 1 of 4 on the day. By the end of his first game as a starter, Mahomes had justified not only the organization's move to draft him, but to trade their successful veteran too. But hey, one regular season game does not a legacy make, right? Well, a week later, Mahomes threw six touchdowns against Pittsburgh, breaking the NFL record for most TD passes by a QB in their first three games. He also earned AFC Player of the Month honors for his first four weeks after he made this ridiculous, impromptu, left-handed pass on the run to keep a fourth quarter drive alive against the Broncos. 
by the way, uh, Mahomes is right-handed, and you're just not supposed to be able to do that in football, period, let alone the NFL, let alone in your first season as an NFL starter. The Chiefs weren't perfect throughout the year, but their now bona fide superstar still shined even in losses. Mahomes threw two interceptions in Casey's first loss of the season in New England, but also finished with 352 yards of passing and four touchdowns. Their next loss would come until week 11, in which the Rams won 54 to 51, but Mahomes threw for another six touchdowns and 478 yards, the most of any NFL QB in a game this season. In fact, in the Chiefs' four losses of the season, Mahomes threw 15 touchdown passes. For comparison, the 2016 Chiefs threw 19 touchdown passes the entire season. So while Kansas City isn't undefeated since Mahomes took over, they've only lost four games, all by one score or less, all to playoff contenders, and in none of them did the offense sputter like the postseason ghosts of the years past. Mahomes' next touchdown pass will hit 50. But did you notice the line of scrimmage? The Chiefs are on their own 11-yard line. That's not anyone's definition of striking distance in a single play, except that Mahomes has five touchdown passes of 50 or more yards this season, tied for the most in the NFL. He's also on the cusp of 5,000 yards in a season, which would be only the second time in NFL history after Peyton Manning, a quarterback, has thrown for 50 touchdowns and 5,000 yards in one season. But honestly, the records at stake aren't the point. The Mahomes Kansas City Chiefs are the premier offensive machine in the NFL, and subsequently, they're must-see TV. Nationally, Mahomes has become a superstar in a second. Locally, the Chiefs have been waiting lifetimes for their own superhero. In only 10 games, Mahomes set the Chiefs' record for passing touchdowns in a season with 31, which is more time than it took for a franchise founded 59 years ago to fall in love with a superstar who was truly their own. Former Chiefs quarterbacks like Smith, Joe Montana, Trent Green, and even Lynn Dawson all came from somewhere else at the middle or end of their careers. The confidence Kansas City had in an unproven prospect has been more than validated, but that's what made Mahomes' debut different than just an explosion of stats. By consistently putting up numbers and creating magic highlights in the process, he redefined what was thought possible of quarterback play in the modern pro game in one season. So, welcome to a moment in history. Third and ten, Mahomes, straight drop. Stepping up and throwing long, has a man downfield and he's got it! To Marcus Robinson! Backs his way into the end zone for the touchdown! All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, turn the notifications on for Secret Base, and if you want more great NFL content, click here.